Hello everybody, it is our day 14 morning devotional. I hope you have your prayer journals and your Bibles out and you are ready to go. Let's jump right into it. First, let's open up with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that as we go through this devotional book, 100 Things God Loves About You, I pray that there is revelation for these kids, that they um, can look past um, the things that they feel are failures or downfalls, Father, and that they look at themselves and they see your grace, that they see your love, that they see your heart, they see your craftsmanship, they see that you are working in their hearts, Father. Um, and I thank you for that, Father. I thank you, Lord, that your word promises that the, the work that you've started in them, that you will complete it. And um, we know that we can trust that promise, Lord. So we love you, Father, and we praise you and pray that you, you bless this day, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so here we go. Day 14 and 100 things God loves about you. God loves the way you live by Jesus. 1 John 2, 6. If you have your Bible, 1 John 2, 6. And you can write that down in your prayer journal if you have that too. God loves the way you live like Jesus. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. Let's read that one more time. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. 1 John 2, 6. Live as Jesus did. Four simple but life-changing words. Because Jesus came to be not only your savior, but also your example. You live like Jesus when you remember the Samaritan woman and offer the water of life to those others scorn. When you remember Peter and forgive the friend who deserted you. When you remember the woman thrown in the dirt and reach down to lift up one who has fallen. When you notice the unnoticed, Touch the untouchable, love the unloved. God loves the way you live like his son. I love this devotional today because these are things I think of when I think of who my Jesus is. When I think of what would Jesus do? These are the things that he did. He noticed the people that no one else noticed. Maybe that kid that's at school that no one talks to, that doesn't have a lot of friends. He noticed that person. He touched the untouchable, the people that Everyone were like, cutie, is it gross? Those were the people that Jesus went up and touched and befriended and gave them a big hug. He took care of them. Or um, the unloved, the people that no one liked. Maybe the bully at school, right? Everyone that's easy for them to not like the bully. But those are the people that Jesus loved, that Jesus called to himself. And he drew those people, those sinners, to himself. He drew them to himself. And because of that, their, his great love changed their lives. It changed so much. These were the sinners. So you have to understand that no one was kind to them. No one loved on them. No one was gracious to them. No one forgave them of their sins. And these were the people that God chose to love, to show mercy to. I want you to ask yourself today as you do your prayer journal time, do you love people the way that Jesus loved? And if not, that's okay. We're all growing and we are all um, asking God every day for the grace to change to be more like Him. But how can you today, how can you in, a, in just a little way, just a little growth, how can you be more like Jesus today? It starts today. Love you guys. Pray you have a great day.